Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Remorse. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details. www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing dumper remorse. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, it's understandable to wonder if your ex will ever feel remorse. In today's podcast, I'm going to discuss three things to consider about Dumper's remorse after a breakup. So let's get straight into this. And number one, is it possible for anyone? So I'm often asked if someone can feel remorse if they are a stubborn person. And sometimes I'm asked if somebody could feel remorse if their ex has an avoidant attachment style. Now look, every single person is different. Every single one of us is an individual and I can only speak as I see and I can only talk about my own experiences the people that I've spoke to and the research that I have done but the conclusion that I have come to is that the vast majority of people do have the capacity to at one day possibly feel remorse This doesn't mean that your ex will definitely feel remorse, but what it does mean is that almost everyone has the capacity to feel remorse. I have spoke to dumpers who have avoidant attachment styles and they have felt remorse later down the line. I've spoke to dumpers who would have described themselves as stubborn and they have felt remorse at different stages after a breakup. From the experiences that I have had, the research that I have done and the people that I've spoke to, my answer to this question is I believe remorse is possible for anyone or at least the vast, vast majority of people who don't suffer from a mental health condition or somewhat something that I have not got any research or experience in. But when we're speaking about stubborn people, when we're speaking about people with avoidance attachment styles, I know for certain it is possible for these people to feel remorse because I've spoke to them. Now, this doesn't mean that every single avoidant is going to feel remorse. This doesn't mean that every single stubborn person is going to feel remorse. But this also doesn't mean that every single person who has a secure attachment style will feel remorse. So for what I am saying is that everybody is an individual and every situation is unique. So we have to consider all of the elements at play to consider if and when somebody might feel remorse for ending a relationship. So whether you are secure, whether you are an avoidant, whether you are anxious, whether you are something in between or different... I believe you have a capacity to feel remorse, but that doesn't mean you will feel remorse. Remorse has to come from a certain amount of situations, combinations of feelings and things happening going forward after the breakup to combine a scenario where someone will start to regret their decision and feel remorse for the breakup. I don't believe it matters if somebody is stubborn. I don't believe it matters about somebody's attachment style. More so, it does matter about the breakup, the relationship which preceded it, and the aftermath. Ultimately, if you believe that your ex is an avoidant, if you believe that your ex is somebody who is incredibly stubborn and would never change their mind on anything, well, I'm here to tell you that I know of people like that who have eventually changed their mind. Now, I'm not telling you to sit around and clock watch and wait for your ex to change their mind because not every single ex does. Not every single dumper will feel remorse. Not every single dumper will regret their decision and reach out. But what I am saying is that it is, in my opinion, possible for anyone to feel remorse and one day want to contact their ex again and consider reconciling. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about dumper remorse. And point number two is time is infinite. 
Another question that I'm asked is how long it would take for somebody to feel remorse. And unfortunately, there is no straightforward answer. Time is infinite. There is an endless possibility of time of when somebody could hit the point of where they feel remorse. Ultimately, somebody will only feel remorse if the romantic emotional attraction that they feel for their former partner has raised to the necessary high point, and this can take a very long time. If a breakup took place in a way where there is very little attraction left, this attraction will take an awfully long time to grow to the necessary high point, even if it reaches that at all. As I've said before, there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back, nothing works 100% of the time, and nothing fails 100% of the time. So when we're considering timelines, how long will it take for your dumper to feel remorse for breaking up with you? Well, firstly, we can't guarantee they ever will, but even if they do, it could be a vast different amount of time. I've known exes reach out to their dumpies after days, weeks, months and even years, sometimes many years after the breakup took place of no contact does the dumper reach out. I have heard anecdotally of other people this taking decades. Now I don't have experience in that, I've not coached somebody who has specifically said it has been decades for them but I've heard people speaking of other instances that they are aware of in which it has taken decades. So as you can see, we have days, weeks, months, years, decades. That is a ridiculously long length of time and a huge range. Now what I can say is from my own research is that the average amount of time that a dumper seems to reach out to their dumpy if they're going to at all tends to be around the six month mark. You know, whether it's three months, six months, nine months, if you look at six months and beyond as a rough kind of guide of average, then that is something that I can give to you. But that doesn't mean if it's seven months, you won't hear from your ex again. As I've said, I know of many instances of where it has been years and years and years before a dumper has reached out to their dumpy. So what does this mean? Well, time is infinite. Time is not going to help you out in regarding how long you should be waiting. And that is the clue. You shouldn't be waiting. You need to live your life to the full. You need to move forward every day, improving, becoming a better person today than you were yesterday, a better person tomorrow than you are currently today, making new connections, going on dates and living your life. There is no guarantee your ex will reach out to you. And even if they do, it could be many years into the future. And why should you be waiting? They are living their life. You need to live yours. You might get your ex back in two years' time. But that doesn't mean you should be waiting for two years, sitting at home, clock watching, not living your life. Instead, you need to experience new things and make new connections. Go out into the world and live your life. And you never know, you might meet somebody even better than your ex. And if and when you do hear from them, you won't want them back anyway. At the end of the day, time is infinite and you should not be waiting for anyone. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about dumper remorse. And point number three is they will likely let you know. Another question which I'm asked is some dumpies fear that their dumper might feel remorse, but don't want to reach out to them, don't want to speak with them, don't want to let them know. Now, of course, every situation is different, and I can't speak for every single person who has ever lived, but what I can say is that the vast majority of dumpers who feel remorse will let their dumpy know. And if they haven't let their dumpy know yet, the likely reason for this is that they aren't fully ready. Sometimes dumpers reach out to their dumpies and they will say, look, you know, I've been thinking about reaching out to you two or three times, but it just didn't quite feel right. But now it does. And the clue is within this. You need to make sure you give your dumper the time and space to reach out to you when they are ready. But you must be living your life in the meantime and not waiting around for something which might not happen. You can't rush this. And you can't be living your life thinking, look, my ex won't reach out to me, so I need to pester them to keep checking if they're feeling remorse, because most likely that is going to push them further away. Nothing works 100% of the time. Nothing fails 100% of the time. We have to look what is more likely to help and what is more likely to cause you problems. And chasing a dumper is most likely to cause you problems, to get you blocked, to get a restraining order. So you can't do it. You must live your life and never contact your dumper again unless they contact you first. But try not to live in the fear 
that they might be regretting this but feel unable to reach out to you because the vast majority of dumpers will let their dumpy know. And if they haven't let their dumpy know yet, it's either because they aren't feeling remorse at all or if they are feeling it, it is not quite ready. It's not quite at the height that it needs to be. If you put something in the oven and you're starting to cook it, if you pull it out early, well, guess what? It's not going to be ready. You need to wait till that timer pings and you need to wait till your dumper reaches out. If you take this out of the oven too early, you will not have an enjoyable meal or an enjoyable life. You will likely get blocked or possibly you might have a restraining order put on you if you're a dumpy and you keep chasing your ex asking if they regret the decision. That is unlikely to help you and I would strongly suggest that you move forward in a way where you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. Because from the dumpers that I've spoke to, and the relationships that I know which have reconciled, what we tend to see is that most dumpers will generally let their dumpy know if and when they are ready to reconsider the relationship. Now, if your dumper reaches out to you, this doesn't mean you've got to accept what they say. If you're a dumpy, you are now a single person and your life is in your hands. You do your thing the way you want to. So if your ex contacts you and says, look, I regret my decision, let's get back together. You as a dumpy have a right to say, look, I don't know whether I want this. And that's why I always say live your life to the full, make new connections, and you might find somebody even better than your ex. You are single, they are single. If they change their mind, you have a chance to reconsider your decisions about how you feel. You might have said originally, I really want to get back together. That doesn't mean that's how you feel now. So always remember, you have a choice. At the end of the day, when we consider whether a dump will let us know if they miss us or not, the likelihood is that they will. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know, Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.